So a lot of people have this sensation, could be pain, soreness behind their eyes, and they've tried everything to try to figure it out. So today I'm going to tell you what's really behind this. Typically, it could be multiple things, but most of the time it's this one thing. Now, it could also be that you're sensitive to light. It could be tenderness on the top of your eye, right through here on this bone, or underneath on both sides, okay, around the orbits. You can also have like this eye strain or uncontrollable tears. So what is really behind this? Well, this is a hypersensitivity of a certain nerve called the trigeminal nerve, which is right behind your eyes. And so you get these symptoms and you might think the problem is this nerve, right? And so you may have a steroid injection or some medication and it never seems to go away because the hypersensitivity of the nerve is just the tip of the iceberg. There's something going on underneath. And I'm gonna tell you this progressive stage of things that happens before you get these symptoms. So the first thing that happens is you get something called chickenpox, varicella. And the great majority of the population had chickenpox. Now, when you get chickenpox, your immune system comes in, the acquired immune system, okay, not the innate immune system that you're born with, but, and starts to make antibodies against this virus. And you're pretty much protected for about 50 years. But as soon as these antibodies don't work anymore, uh, you're more susceptible to having symptoms like shingles. Shingles is called herpes zoster, okay? That is the same virus as the chickenpox, varicella. Same exact thing. It may create a full-blown shingles presentation, or it may give you a little hint that the shingles is coming. And that is the hypersensitivity to the trigeminal nerve because that virus hides out in the sensory nerves and it waits until the perfect opportunity when your immune system is lowered and the environment is just right. That pain behind the eyes is really coming from kind of a manifestation of this shingles. And there's certain things that will bring out this virus and reactivate it. One of the big things is cold, okay? During the winter months, this is very important to know because if you can just avoid excessive cold, if you go outside, dress very warmly, cover your entire body. If you're in the house, make sure it's slightly warmer and you might not realize it. So here you are going out in the cold, spending a lot of time outside in the winter and wondering why do you have pain behind the eyes, right? But it's all about getting rid of some of these triggers and also improving your immune system. Another trigger is pressure sometimes from the weather. When the weather changes, then it can be reactivated. And that's a hard trigger to get rid of because I don't have a solution for that one, okay? I think the solution is just to build up your immune system so you're really bulletproofed. The other trigger, and this is a big one, is stress, okay? And there's all sorts of variations of stress. And you might be thinking, well, I'm not really going through stress. But if you really look at it, um, we are bathed in stress, mental stress constantly from the news, from even certain videos that we watch and movies that we watch that keep us in this fear mode. So anything that does that needs to be addressed. I created a video just on the one topic and I will put it down below. I think it's really, really important, but the stress factor is a really big one because the cortisol that's activated by the stress literally paralyzes the white blood cell when you go through stress. And I think Women, when they go through menopause, they lose the ovary function, okay? And then the adrenals have to take over. And there's always a spike of cortisol. And then cortisol suppresses the immune system. And then that's when these symptoms pop out. And I also did a video on how to build up these hormones during menopause, right? I'll put that video down below. It has to do with feeding these hormones, a precursor for the hormones, which is cholesterol. And by the way, as a side note, anything that lowers cholesterol, and I won't uh, mention any medication names, <coughs> statins, which is a precursor of these hormones, and just doing that can activate certain types of viruses that were in remission for years, but are now reactivated. And another stress, believe it or not, is uh, vaccinations. Actually, vaccinations weaken the immune system. I'm not telling you not to take a vaccination or take one. I'm just giving you the information. Two other big triggers Number one, a vitamin D deficiency, because that automatically makes your immune system weak, and also a zinc deficiency. Both of those deficiencies will set you up for having more problems. 
So I'm just giving you a bunch of things to think about. But if you take a look at the big picture, if you really focus on prevention, because this virus is playing hide and go seek, it comes out of remission and it goes back in remission when your resistance is stronger. So the key thing to really focus on is your sleep, keeping in regular exercise, keeping the stress you know, under control, keeping your diet really good. And if you have watched any of my videos, you know exactly what to do with that. But I just wanted to give you some information that could be the underlying cause of the pain behind your eyes. And this is based on a real interesting book that I just read, and I'll put that link down below as well. Now, if you haven't seen my recent video on cortisol, okay, and how to lower it, uh, you should definitely watch it. And I put that one up right here.